Do your kids have trouble with bullying in school? Do they come home scared, covered with bruises? Here's a story about a young teen who bullies smaller children for fun. Now over to Katie Kirk with a story at Lowe High School. So do you ever think bullying affects your victims? Sometimes, whenever I go home, I cry a lot. Sometimes, I can't even sleep whenever I go to bed. I can't handle it much more. <laughs> No. So where do you usually find yourself really? Actually, these lockers right here, very common. Hey. Just walk in? I don't know really. I mean, it gets me lots of free stuff and it kind of puts me in a boss position, you know, people will do what I say, as long as I threaten them the right way, you know? Hey man. Oh. Oh. Do you ever regret doing it? No. I mean, it's, it's all out of plain fun. People are going to go around whining, you know, he took my money. I mean, parents have how much money? They're taking two bucks, what's that going to do, seriously? Hey, man. Oh. Oh. I need you to give me some lunch money, okay? I usually, I usually pack a lunch. I'm so hungry. When did you start bullying? <laughs> Dude, yeah. I was bullying my mom when I was in the womb. It's just natural to me. Dude, did you just beat these guys up? Yeah. What started you bullying? <laughs> As a kid, I was beat. Never cared for it. It hated me. I was never treated how I wanted to be. <laughs> I just wanted to have a normal life. <laughs> now back to you, Todd. As you saw, bullying doesn't only affect the victim, but it also affects the bully. That's all for this episode of Security News. See you tomorrow with more breaking news.